I wanted to ask you how you liked our school so far, how have you liked interacting with the Sioneers, and uh, what do you think about SciTed as an event as a whole? Well, it's very interesting. I'm, I'm surprised to see the level of the students who have exhibited the so-called innovative projects. Some of them are really innovative. And uh, I'm not able to believe this kind of potential exists in this school because I didn't have an idea of the school until I visited. Mm. Very excellent. I made a suggestion to them to... I'm sure if the students are talking so much, then there must be the guides must be greater. Yeah, sir. So the guides are really superior. I'm assuming it is true. Very nice. In fact, if you properly navigate it, you can make use of them in the social life. Some of them, but you need funding for that. You need some. Suddenly, some sponsors will be available. You can make use of it. This is one way of exhibiting that uh, what you have done is wonderful. I'm not talking about all, but some of them are really good. Very nice. nice. Very good. It is unbelievable. Uh, a guy is tell, telling me that he's studying in eighth standard. <laughs> very, very interesting. So eighth standard chap is doing so much. Somebody was talking about aerophysics. Yes. Very. In class eleven humanities. Yeah. <laughs> very interesting. Nice. Thank you, sir. I'm actually a very big fan of you because I also want to pursue my career in aerospace and aerodynamics. What are you studying now? I'm in 12th, sir. I'm in science stream. Yes, sir. I'll, I want to get... What is your plan to get into aerospace? So I want to give engineering. No, I'm what are you going to do next step? Next? Next step. What is your next step? Sir, giving JE is my next step <laughs> as of now. <laughs> yeah, JE get, uh, get selected within the first 250 ranks. Yes, you will get uh, Indian School of Science and Technology. Yes, sir. If you don't, then don't get worry about it. Then try Indian of Science, or uh, I don't know whether you like pure physics or whether you like engineering. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, if you're pure physics, then you have TAFR, other areas. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you. Good Namaskar, luck. sir. Namaskar. I am Ankita Mishra of Standard 12. I am a huge fan of you, and I wanted to ask you. You have been an active member of the Indian Space Program since its very inception. So from a bunch of 23 very, very innovative and very headstrong scientists, now our family has grown to 28,000. How do you see the evolution of the Indian Space Odyssey here? I, 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 I was telling, not fully, but indirectly I was meaning that we need a lot of funding so that one way of getting the funding is to have a collaboration yes. with uh, other people who have the money and who can support you. After all, what you find is useful for all the mankind. So you know, they also participate in there. The one way, another way is commercially, if you look at it, supposing if you have 20 countries joining you, each country's requirement of the satellite, we will be forcibly taking it because they are a member of the group. Yes. Exactly, yes. And uh, also they can industrially develop themselves. So it is a very good proposal, but I don't know why. This is not being looked into. Sir, you studied under Professor Groko, one of the pioneers of the Apollo mission and the field of liquid technology and cryogenics. So what was the experience studying under him? I, he showed something in the movie, but much more than the movie, I find him as a very good human being. See, our concept of married life, for example, uh, when we talk, we are used to certain kind of culture. We think that husband and wife here are bonded and they... But uh, with that, we have also a bad feeling, wrong feeling, that in foreign countries, they don't have this kind of a bonding. bonding. They divert it in no time. <laughs> but which is not true. His wife was uh, paralyzed for years and he was taking care of her. And uh, so he's a very fantastic fellow. I was incidentally his last student. <laughs> and Apparently that, uh, it's said that he takes only a limited student. No, he stopped taking the students. He was 83 when he was teaching me. Oh, okay. Very... Uh, sir, one more question. You were falsely accused of an espionage. And years later, when you were proved innocent with full proof, the government of India awarded you a Padma Bhushan. What are your feelings? How did you hold yourself back then? And could you give us some tips on resilience in such demanding No, actually, situations? actually, it is not the Padma Bhushan or any other title which matters, or the compensation for that matter. 
What mattered to me was that my case was over in four years. 94 it started, 98 it was proved that I am innocent. But I worked from 98 till 2018, 20 years, just to prove myself more. These are the people who did that crime and they are to be booked. I did that. That is where the, that is what I consider as a major gift than anything else. Anyway, now I am now out of it. I am not bothered what they, whether they are punished or not. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Uh, good afternoon, sir. This is Parikshit Singh Rathod from Standard 12th. Sir, my question is, so firstly, sir, uh, as we know that many companies have started building humanoid robots. And according to me, for space explorations and research, it is a safer option than sending humans to space. But sir, at the same time, it is not, not very reliable and beneficial than sending humans on space. So what is your point and what your views on this? No, I have no separate view. Actually, this is a matter which has to be discussed in depth. Yes. What is going on right now when Armstrong landed there on moon, they know this principle. Okay. <laughs> Knowingly, they send it to him, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was a risky job. It was uh, not an easy job. Yes, sir. But at the same time, if there are, see, the technology actually aids you, helps you. Yes. See, earlier, if a doctor wants to do an open heart surgery, today he wants to do a keyhole surgery. It is making all the difference, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. And how does it come? It comes from technology. It comes from engineering. Yes, sir. He doesn't claim, he cannot claim the full credit for what. Uh, Today you can see through the body completely, scan through the yes, body. Sir. All these are technology. Yes, sir. definitely. So sir. that is what it is. So one last question. To today's youth who want to pursue a career in aeroflow, aeronautical engineering and aerodynamics, what is your message to them? No, nothing big message. All I am saying is if you are interested in any subject, aerospace is one, you should focus it on that and then try to go ahead with that. Now, if you are interested in uh, cricket, you do that. Then yes, you can <laughs> understand how many runs Dhoni has taken. That is another way of looking at it. It's a matter of opinion. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.